Hi guys, it's Nikki, creator of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I would like to teach you how to do the lattice scarf. Um, this pattern was actually requested by one of my followers because um, she had done my lattice beanie. And in fact, I even have another tutorial, the lattice hat, though that pattern does not belong to me, but um, I did a tutorial on it because some people needed help with that. Um, anyways, so this is the lattice scarf. Um, it is pretty much the same um, stitch that I used for the lattice beanie, which is called the LTC, the lattice treble cluster. And um, it seems to be very popular right now. And in fact, it was very popular last uh, Christmas too. Sometimes people call it the diamond stitch. Um, I was taught it with as the lattice um, stitch or the lattice treble crust, a cluster. So, um, mo you know, a lot of stitches have um, uh, different names. So it doesn't really matter what you call it, but uh, the stitch is still the same. Anyways, um, the stitch is very, very easy to do with this. Um, just before I get started, um, in case you want to make this shorter or wider, uh, let me explain really quick how you would go about this. So in order to make sure that, let me call it a diamond right now, that the diamond here is closed up on the side. Do you see there's just this one there is kind of a half open one. Um, so in order to make sure this is closed up, so you need stitches um, that are four times an even number. So it would be, in my case here, it is, and then you subtract one, by the way. So it's eight times four, so it's always four times an even number, so four times eight, and then minus one. So there's um, one less stitch on one side, and you'll see why that is in a second, okay? so. Again, so if you would do, you could do, for example, um, four times six and just subtract one stitch as the foundation chain, right? So this is with eight, so with six it would be this, and then with four, I believe, actually with six, yeah, I think at six should be about this or this. So anyways, um, yeah, it should be this. So this is six and this is four. So um, it's very easy to do. It's just the same stitch over and over again. In fact, it is about four rows that you repeat over and over again. And you can actually see it right here. So this is about, this is four rows right here. And you just repeat this over and over and over again until you have the length that you need. So um, I used here a worsted weighted yarn and I used a um, five millimeter hook. So um, let's get started. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so make, I need to make sure it is focused. So let me focus a little bit. All right, so I have here just the same amount of stitches that I did here. Okay, so this is uh, 32 minus one, so it's eight, four times eight minus one, so it's 31. Um, but remember that you have a chain of one, so it would be 32 that you're chaining, but you actually have only 31 stitches, okay? So this is a normal, you know, a chain with a row of single crochet. So that's how you start out with, a, you know, chain and a row of single crochet. Then you do chain of two, and then you do in every stitch, you do a double crochet all the way through in every stitch. So it starts out extremely easy. Oops. All right, I'm gonna finish up the row and I'll be right back. Okay, so now after you finish the row of double crochets, you do a chain of one and you turn. So now I need you to make sure that you look closely so that you know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna spread it a little bit so you have an easier time seeing it, okay? So first we're gonna do a um, single crochet in the first stitch and then um, you're gonna yarn over twice because it's a treble. 
and now you need to make sure you look very closely here. So we have here, down here, so this is a chain of one right here, and here is a one single crochet, two, three, and here's the fourth one, okay, right there. So you're gonna go behind it like this, and you yarn over and pull through, so you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you made your first treble, okay? But we need to finish this up, so we do it like this. So this is one of the sides right here, okay? So this is not exactly the cluster yet, but this is the first stitch right here, okay? So this is the first. Now you are going to skip the next stitch right there where my finger is. You skip that one because you made here one. And you are going into the next stitch and make a single crochet. And then you do two more single crochets. So we have now our first side of the diamond, okay? And now we're gonna actually do the cluster. So yarn over twice. You're going around the same single crochet that you just did right here on the bottom and do the same process as you just did. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through, oh, two, I meant. And you stop right here, okay, where you have two, um, two loops left. Now you're gonna yarn over twice again, and now you're gonna count again four. So you kinda have to spread a little bit so you see it. So here's one, two, three, four, and you're going around the fourth one, the fourth single crochet on the first row. Like that. Okay, now you have five chains or five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now you have three, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, now you have your first cluster done. You're doing the same process as you just did by skipping the next stitch and doing two, uh, three, I meant three single crochets. Like that. So do you see this? So this is the first one we did here. And here's the first cluster. Now you're repeating the cluster all the way to the end until you have four stitches. Um, actually, it's two stitches left. So you'll see it in a second. So let me finish the clusters. You're doing the same thing as you just did, okay? So once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. Just just so you know, the uh, the first uh, time you do the clusters, that's when you go around the single crochets. Later on, you're going through the clusters. So here's one, two, three, four. Like this. Skip a stitch again. Three single crochets. Okay, let's do it again. Now count again, one, two, three, four, and that's where we're going around, around the fourth one. Okay, now we're going to skip this stitch and going to do the next one, three single crochets. One, two, three, four. Okay, skip one, three single crochets. One, two, three, four. I guess. And another three single crochets. Okay. Do one more cluster and then we have to do one more treble. So we're matching the first part that we did. The very first treble. One, two, three, four. Like this. 
skip a stitch. One, two, three. Now you have two stitches left and um, one of them is a skipped one. Okay, so you're doing a normal cluster around the same single crochet we just went, but you're just finishing up the cluster. So yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. You skip a stitch and you do one single crochet, just like you did in a way beginning, right? We did one single crochet here and then we did a treble, okay? So now we finished up the next row. You're doing now a row of double crochets all the way around or to the end, just like we did before. Okay, so now that you've finished the row of double crochets, you do a chain of one, and now we're doing the uh, lattice treble clusters in a shift. So we're shifting it a little bit over. That means we're not doing the single treble like we did here in the very first one. We did one here and we had one to do on the end. This row that we're doing now is gonna be all treble clusters because it's kind of shifted, so we're making a diamond, right? So it's always the same technique, just that there's a little shift. So you're starting out with three single crochets. In fact, you're also finishing with three single crochets. Okay, so all the way in the end here, you're gonna have three single crochets. So three single crochets, and now you're doing your cluster. But instead of going through the single crochets you did in the very first row, you're going around the clusters now, right? Around those treble crochets, just like that. Okay, so you're just going around it and doing the cluster just like you did before. Very easy and straightforward. Like that. You're skipping a stitch just like before and you're doing three single crochets. And then you repeat it till the end and you're finishing up with three single crochets at the end of the row. Okay, do one more. Always make sure you have that one skipped stitch, right? So this is how it looks like. You finish it up. You finish up with three single crochets at the end of the row. And then you do one more row of double crochets. And then I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so now that you've finished up another row of double crochets, we're repeating now this row right here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that because on the very first time we did it, we went through those single crochets. This time we're going around the treble clusters, right? So you're doing a chain of one and one single crochet. And now we're doing a treble, okay? But you're going around that cluster that we had from the previous time we did the clusters. So two rows ago, okay? Just doing a treble, very easy. You're skipping a stitch and you're doing three single crochets, okay? And now you're doing the clusters again. All right, you're skipping a stitch and you're doing three single crochets. So you're doing that all the way through and remember that the very last one right here just like this is gonna be a treble. So when you have two stitches left, you're gonna do one treble and then you do one more single crochet. It isn't single crochet all the way at the end. Now these four rows right here, which is a row of treble clusters with single crochets and then a double crochet row and then you do another row just like this that we're doing right now where you have a treble in the front, treble clusters in the middle and one treble at the end and then you do another row of, treble, uh, of double crochets and then you're just repeating those four rows over and over and over again until you have the length that you desire for your scarf. So I hope this video was helpful and how to do this. This is very straightforward. I have the written pattern 
on my website there is a link in the description so make sure you click on that um, it's very very easy so I would highly recommend for you if you have never done this before I believe even beginners can do this so all you have to do is print out the written pattern okay put it next to you and turn on this video again and watch it while you have the written pattern next to you and then try to do it pause in between um, if you feel like this is still too hard and uh, rewind the video if you have to um, I have photos on my website as well on how to do this so there should be enough uh, material for you to be able to do this if you still have trouble please just contact me and I'm happy to help you and lead you through it so uh, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, be sure to subscribe on uh, YouTube here so that you see any future videos. I hope you can give me a thumbs up um, that you like the video and uh, I hope you have a great day and I hope you see how easy this is and show me pictures of how your scarf looks like. I would love to see it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.